In this week's featured installation by Penrith Solar Centre, we are in North Richmond, New South Wales. This is a two-storey brick veneer slate terracotta roof, where we are installing 27 Trina Vertex S 440W panels on Enphase IQ8 microinverters and two IQ5P Enphase batteries. Slate terracotta tiles come with some unique challenges. Our standard tile mounting feet simply don't work with this style of slate terracotta tile. Our team leader Bryce will take us through the differences and how we get the perfect finish on slate terracotta whilst ensuring water tightness. Then we dive into the battery installation with Cooper. Coop talks us through how we avoid running conduit for this dual battery installation and the necessary cabling and circuitry for two batteries to work seamlessly with the Enphase microinverter solar system. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this particular job on slate ter terracotta tile, um, our regular sledder feet don't really work too well as you can't close the top tile properly as they don't reach far enough. So this is our regular tile foot. And this is our one that we use on slate terracotta. Just how it extrudes out past. You can see the length difference there. When you do close it, we can't get this one to lock in properly. Where when we have this, it will sit a lot nicer. So when we're up on the roof, we do grind most of the guts out here. Just so that this bracket here can sit flat doesn't leave a large gap here, allowing water to run up into the roof space. So far we've basically installed the two brackets and these cables here, so you've got your six mils, your white TPS, they power for your, uh, for your batteries and they'll go through these two 20 amp circuit breakers here. And then you've got your communications for your batteries, basically let, allow them to talk to each other. Then this orange circular cable here is what we've run down from the roof from an isolator and that's basically the feed from the solar and that'll go into your main switch inverter supply and that'll talk to all the relays and that's basically where you get the actual solar power from your system to go down through these to charge your two batteries. So this system controller is sitting back to back with the switchboard. This house being brick veneer allows us to use the cavity to run these 16 mils straight through, feeding with a tongue and then dragging them through straight into the back. And then we can basically just terminate them straight up from here. These six mils and data cables we could also utilise this brick veneer, drop it straight down, going behind timid studs and noggins, pull it through here, and then the same thing down and across through here, which basically the perks to having this brick veneer wall essentially in the cavity is we don't have to use conduit, which can look messy in some people, in everyone's houses. No one wants conduit work along their wall, so this way it's nice and neat, hidden, and just a better, out a better outcome. So we've got two separate feeds to the um, batteries instead of going one six mil through to here, looping it in the first battery and going to the second battery. And that allows us to just use two 20 amp breakers instead of one big 40 amp breaker. And at the end of the day, it's an easier termination down the bottom. You don't have to loop anything and they're just two separate cables, easy in and out of here. <laughs> 